Hume City returned to FFA Cup action at ADD Stadium on Wednesday night when it faced NPL 2 side Nunawading City. Two changes to the starting 11 for Hume from their 1-0 win over Avondale. Wayne Wallace replaces James McGarry in midfield, while Attila Offley comes in for Liam Boland. Michael Weir takes his usual spot in goal with the back four unchanged from the weekend. Wallace will partner Nick Hegarty and Daniel Clark in the centre, while Jaden Prasad and Theo Markellis resume their position on the flanks, with Attila Offley leading the line. Kim City come into this game after an 8-0 win over Lang Lauren in the previous round. The first shot in anger for Hume came from Attila Offley who managed to squeeze between the central defenders and rifle a shot towards goal. Jordan Franken made the save and Theo Markellis couldn't capitalise on the rebound. An error from another Wadding throw in opened the door for Hume City's first goal. Attila Offley laid it off for Wayne Wallace who scored his first goal in Hume City colours with a pile driver into the bottom of the net to make it 1-0 for Hume. Much to the delight of the fans. Excellent defensive work from Chris Kiusis began Hume City's next attack on goal. Kiusis found his captain Nick Hegarty in the centre of the park, who went on a barnstorming run towards the wing. His ball in the box found Wayne Wallace, who did everything right except score. Hume's second goal came only seven minutes after the first. Dylan Jakupi's hard running down the right channel put the Nunawading defence on the back foot. His sharp cut back cross was measured perfectly for Attila Offley, who struck it into the back of the net to double Hume's advantage. 2 0 for Hume City after 22 minutes. Hume were on a run by this point. Offley got involved in everything in the attack. His cross to the back post found Markellis. But the header looped over the crossbar and onto the roof of the net. There's prize money for as far as you can go in the cup, isn't it? Wallace slides in to win the ball just after the half hour mark. Hegarty's raking pass from midfield finds Jaden Prasad out on the right, with Dylan Jakupi running through for the overlap. Jakupi's cross is worked to the feet of Attila Offley. The shot was sliced over the bar under pressure. Corner from Nick Hegarty found the head of Brian Brand, who nods it just wide in the final chance of the first half. Goals from Wallace and Offley see Hume City lead two goals to nil at half time.
Nick Hegarty was directing traffic for Hume at the start of the second half. His early cross was met by Jaden Passard, but the Queenslander's shot was smothered by a Russian Franklin. Nana Wadding forced Michael Weir into his first save in the 72nd minute of the match. Scourge with the strike, Weir makes the stop. Hume City still had the momentum of the match in their favour, however, and ideally would need one more goal to seal the game. Hegarty honoured the lung-busting run of Offley down the field. A perfectly weighted cross found Theo Markellis at the back post, who nods home the goal to extend Hume City's lead to 3-0. Drama at the end of the match at ADD Stadium when Theo Markellis was caught in the area. The referee pointed straight to the spot. Liam Boland took responsibility for the spot kick. The shot was saved by Jordan Franklin in the final minute of the game. Full time at ABD Stadium, Hume City progressing through to round 6 of the FFA Cup with a 3-0 win. Goals from Wayne Wallace, Attila Offley and Theo Markellis. Hume will now face North Sunshine Eagles in the next round of the Cup, featuring one of Hume City's favourite sons, Shane Rexepi. Make sure to keep up to date with Hume City on social media. Enjoy your long weekends. We'll see you at Heidelberg on Easter Monday at 6pm.